Welcome to Megger's technical support video. In this video, we will discuss how to use the EZZ feature in RTMS. Let's begin. To locate the EZ impedance test, select New Test. Then under the impedance heading, select the first icon. In this screen, there are many options to use. For the purpose of this video, we will talk about the ones we will be using. The EZZ test feature will allow the user to quickly find the ohmic reach of any impedance element. In this area, you can apply impedance settings according to their rectangular counterparts, or you can also use this feature as a calculator to convert from polar to rectangular and vice versa. Here we have entered the settings of 2.8 ohms at 83.3 degree angle according to my relay settings. Here we will now set up how I want to run the test. We have a couple of options. One will be constant current or a constant voltage. For this test we will select constant current and I will start with 5 amps. Now we will start with selecting which faults I want to start with. By selecting the fault type button you will see the different types of faults that can be applied. I will choose A to B face to face for this test. I will use a binary input for this test so I need to configure it. Select the binary input settings option. I will define binary input number one. I will make sure it's dry contact and it's open to close action. Okay, I have a couple of options on how I can perform this test. I can use the ramp function which allows me to define the increment and I can also choose which setting I would like to ramp, whether it be impedance, phase angle, resistive component, or reactance component. For this test, I'm going to choose impedance and the increment value of 0 0.01. By using the mouse wheel or arrow keys, you can increase or decrease the increment value as needed. I am currently using the mouse wheel to increment this value. You will also notice the rectangular values are recalculating themselves in real time. Now we will turn on the test set and you will see my relay will operate and it is shown by plotting an X on the graph. After running the ramp test, you can view the results by looking at the single page report we will select ramp results and the result information will be displayed here as you continue to test. As you append these results you have various options. We can delete the test that you currently ran or we can set the test parameters as the next test. At this point, we do not know what impedance zone this point operated in. We can find this out by using the pre-fault fault selection. This function needs a few values entered to start the test. Enter the phase-to-phase -phase secondary voltage and the EZZ will calculate the phase-to-ground voltage for you and vice versa. Then you will enter the amount of time you would like to set your pre-fault, maximum test, and post-fault values. You will notice the values have been applied to the vector graph that you can see next to the play button. Now we can hit the play button and as you run the test you will notice the trip time and for a zone with no time delay the trip time will be very quick. Then you can increase the impedance values and run the test again. Keep performing this test until you are reaching the next zone. You will find the next zone by watching the trip time increase as shown here.
Once you are satisfied with your test results, you can view the results in this single page report by selecting the pre-fault and fault results. Here you can view the test information from all the testing you performed. You have the same options as before to delete a test or set a specific test result as your next test. This concludes our video and thanks for watching.